Hey, good morning everyone, Pastor Brett here, take four. Uh, this stuff is not as easy as you might think it is, um, but uh, I'll press on, hallelujah. Um, I am super tired, went to sleep late, got awoken early by uh, some neighborhood uh, um, upheaval, if you will. There are people fighting out there in the street. This neighborhood is going downhill fast, that, as is the rest of the world. The um, reason for this video, I read an article this morning after being awoken um, about all of the uh, um, marches and uh, all of the protests that are um, um, about to take place um, in our government, uh, in our state capitals. And, um, um, the article was sexually um, um, unbiased. Uh, it was right down the middle. Uh, it was done by the Washington Post. Uh, it was a good article. I don't read the news or um, I don't get involved with politics at all. Um, but I'm not ignorant. And I would never encourage you to be ignorant as well. Um, but I try to keep the scripture first and foremost, and so I always try to remember what the scripture says. So, uh, in the name of Jesus, Father, bless us to our spirit, I pray, and you would strengthen us and you would keep us, Lord. Um, we thank you for your word. We surrender ourselves to it, uh, thereby surrendering ourselves to you. Hallelujah. We thank you for what we learn. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, I'll try to be uh, quick with um, this. This is from Romans chapter 13, and um, this is uh, something that um, the Lord's laid on my heart um, this morning uh, to share with you all. So, uh, if you'll open your Bibles to Romans chapter 13, and we'll read, um, I'll read straight through. We're going to read verses 1 through uh, um, 6, and uh, we're going to stop there. Um, and we'll say, Father, thank you again, in Jesus' name. Uh, Romans 13, um, verse 1. Uh, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. Amen. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power or resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist, shall receive to themselves damnation or well um, for rulers are not a terror to good works but to the evil wilt thou then not be afraid of the power do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same for he is the minister of god to thee for good but if thou do that which is evil be afraid Oh, that's a great full boss. That means, you know, be, you know, um, quaking in fear. Uh, if you do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. And, of course, today they don't carry swords. They carry guns and nightsticks and mace and all that other good stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Um, for he is the minister of God a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, for that reason, you must needs be subject, be in subjection. Amen. Uh, not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. Not just because of the fact that you might be punished um, for wrongdoing, but, but for conscience sake. And of course, we have a conscience in Christ. We have um, uh, something that we didn't have before we surrendered to Christ. I, I didn't have a conscience before I surrendered to Christ. I was a lawbreaker. Um, you know, I was a fool when I was a youth. And uh, I thank the praise of the Lord for saving my soul, for opening my eyes and showing me the, tr the truth that's in Christ. I thank him for my salvation. And I pray that um, you remember that place that you came from when you're tempted to um, do. Uh, my concern is uh, 
is based upon the fact that there are well-meaning, um, sincere believers that are involved in um, things, militia, that uh, are prepared to stand and fight for our freedoms. And um, I'm, I'm not uh, wholeheartedly against um, particular individuals that are involved in such. Um, I know of people that are involved in things like that. Um, that love the Lord, um, but uh, and I'm, I'm no one's judge. I'm not anyone's judge uh, of character. Uh, the Lord knows your heart, uh, but I would encourage you not to be involved in anything against our nation um, regarding this change of office, um, and uh, it's gotten completely out of hand. I pray that you would do what the Lord uh, calls us to do right here, to um, respect, be subject to the law. It's not the officer, but it is the office that we are to respect, that we are to um, pay tribute to uh, for this cause. He says in verse 6, pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. Okay. Render their dues then, okay? He says in verse 7, I'll stop with verse 7. Tribute to whom tribute, all right? Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Honor to whom honor, all right? So we're called to respect the authorities above us. We're called to um, pray for them. Um, we're called to um, honor, all right, them that are doing what's right. Remember that. Uh, if they're abusing their authority, then we don't respect that particular um, person or that particular abusive behavior. Uh, we pray against that, but the office itself, we are to honor and respect. We're, we're not called to uh, seek their um, um, demise. We're called to pray for them. And um, they give you a quick example. There's a uh, um, a young man that stole my wife's license plates off her Jeep um, recently and uh, um, we um, we uh, um, called the police early that morning when we found out they were stolen well, he had the plates we think he had the plates for about three days um, we uh, I got a, a tolls by mail bill uh, that came in the mail with a picture of the Jeep and the wrong license plates on them. Or not the Jeep, it was the stolen vehicle that he had. He had a stolen vehicle. He took the plates off of the stolen vehicle and swapped them kindly. Didn't do any damage to our Jeep, but he took our plates and he left the stolen plates on our Jeep. My wife and I were driving around in that Jeep for a couple of days, didn't even know the plates were changed. I mean, who looks at their license plates when you go out in the morning? Nobody, but you know, we do now. Um, but um, we called the police that morning that we realized they were gone. That evening, they came back and they handed us the, the license plates. Uh, the fellow lived a couple blocks away, um, you know, and uh, um, my point is this um, I, I told the officers that I respect their office, that I pray for them, and I thank the Lord for them. That they're not all bad, they're not all bad. And I was one, I used to hate the cops. I called them everything in the book, pork and smell swine, and you know, I was into all of that stuff. And uh, you know, um, I, I, I pray for them today. I thank the Lord for them today. I'll tell you what, you know, they, there are those that do wrong, but you have that in every area of life, every walk of life. You have people that abuse authority in every walk of life. We've been witnessing that on the highest level in this country. So, you know, um, it, it's just part of our sin nature. We just naturally abuse um, authority. I mean, it, we all have issues of power and control. We all do. 
every one of us. Some are more extreme than others. Um, uh, but uh, Christ delivers us from all that and gives us um, um, a new life, a new outlook. Um, and gives us that conscience, hallelujah, that we're called to exercise here in this text. Um, so um, be in prayer for our nation. Be in prayer for um, our, our, our governors and our um, the local assemblies. Be in prayer for our police officers and our soldiers. Hallelujah. Man, I salute you. you know, I thank the Lord for you. I thank the Lord for all that you do. I thank the Lord for every one of you all that <clears throat> are watching this video. And I pray that uh, the Lord protect you, that the Lord keep you safe. And uh, we, uh, we need to be in prayer together for our nation. Amen. Um, so let's bow our head and let's close in a word of prayer. And I just want to say, Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for um, um, the office. Lord God of governor, I thank you for the office of um, of uh, um, police officers. I thank you for um, the men and women that serve uh, um, as uh, um, <clears throat> in the armed forces. Um, I pray, Lord God, that you would protect them all, that you would keep them all safe. Uh, Lord God, with the upheaval that is about to take place in this nation, I pray that you would come against it all, that you would stop it. But I pray, Father God, more than anything else, that you would keep believers, Lord God, biblically based, grounded in your word, praying for these things instead of um, cooperating with it, instead of following them. Help us to be leaders, Lord God, uh, and lead people to follow you. And I thank you, Lord, and I praise you for all that you give, all that you do. You're an awesome God. You're worthy to be praised, Father. Please have your way. And uh, we'll give you thanks and praise for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope you're so good. Listen, everybody, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope and pray that you have a great day. Um, and uh, uh, we'll get back to you soon with the Bible giveaway. All right? It's coming. Stay tuned. In Jesus' name.